what up guys, it is finally here, or should I say, I finally managed to track this damn thing down. We got here, a Marvel Legends Infinite Series, Winter, Captain America Winter Soldier Black Widow, and this thing was hard as hell to find. I'll show you guys the box later and everything it comes with, obviously, but let me just say that this here review is going to kick off a series of Marvel Legends reviews, because I recently acquired a crap ton of different Marvel Legends figures, which we are going to review in a series like I just said. And just to get the record straight right off the bat, she does not come with this gun. This is the Red Skull's gun. So, yeah. Guys, standing all on her own, looking like she's about to draw a pistol from her side. Hey, yo, Jangle, where you at? But yeah, I do like this figure. I mean, out of the whole Winter Soldier line, and it's been a while since it came out, believe you me. Out of the whole line, I think... You know, I, in terms of articulation and everything, which we will get to, obviously, I think that this this figure here is probably the better out of the two. And by the two, I mean her and the, um... What do you call it? The Blue Captain America. I don't remember the name right now, but I will look it up on the box. It's in my closet later. But, uh, as you can see, she's pretty nicely well done. Is that even acceptable grammatically? Nicely well done? I don't know. But anyway, she's got the shield logo that... Wow. Can I speak today? It's Friday, guys. Forgive me. She's got the shield logo there on her right shoulder, as well as her left shoulder. And what I like about this figure here is you can see that the texture's kind of a different texture right on her arm there as it goes down. It's kind of like a, uh... I don't know, a chainmail fish scale kind of texture. So it really gives it a look of like an actual, you know, an actual piece of clothing someone would wear. And not to zoom in on the rear end here for any other purpose other than reviewing, but you can see the rear end and some of the thigh has that texture applied to it. Actually, not much of the thigh, just the hamstring area, the back there. Um, the front, quite clean. Actually, no, sorry, the front has some of that fish scaling texture there too. So it's pretty much the sides that are a matted black, which is pretty fine in my opinion. I also like the hair, really nice shade of red, they didn't go too red like something from Carnage or something but it's kind of like a natural, not natural, but you know what I mean. Face, in terms of likeness, you guys be the judge, what do you guys think? Once the camera's are focused, there we go. I don't know if she has green eyes and I've really paid that much attention to it, but I think it's not bad, I mean, it's for Scarlett Johansson figure, yeah, not bad. I don't know about the frontal view though, kind of, it kind of looks like she's high or something, like, whoa. Let me take a selfie. Same thing with the front, pretty nice level of detail there. If we zoom in here, you can even see her zipper, wait no, that's the zipper. I don't know what that is, but whatever that is here, this little buckle thing here, is the actual symbol for a Black Widow Spider, which is pretty nice if none of you knew that, but I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of the infamous Black Widow Spider by now. And we've got some silver paint app right there to highlight the area we do not need to address because everyone knows what that is. Come on, everyone knows. As for these holsters here, I like how they are flexible because I feel if they were attached here, you would have trouble moving. You'd basically get that much movement right there. See that? Right there. So, Thank God they're unattached. Now, as for her legs and her booties here, they did a pretty nice bleh, job with the detail. Like, you can even see that tiny zipper right there going all the way up the bootleg there. Kind of reminds me of the Dark Knight Rises Selena Kyle Catwoman figure. The only thing I probably would have changed with this right here, you can even see the buckle there, I believe. Does she have a buckle? I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things right now. Um, I, I do think, like, the very bottoms of the boots here, they remind me of, like, a Lego person foot or something. I, I don't know why, like, it just, just, I don't know. So here's her box, which, which includes everything else she comes with there. You can see here, those are the two hands, two styles of hands she comes with, which I'm not going to bother taking out the box, because... If you didn't notice already, I've got one there. Wow, there she goes, down like that. 
I've got one on the right hand, which is the open pistol grabbing hand, and then the other one I've got on the left hand, which is just basic your basic open hand. Really nothing to it. There's no peg hole or anything in there. And finally, in case you were wondering, yes, she does come with an alternate head, which is this one right here with the longer hair. So this is the face and hairstyle. Not the well, the face. It's the hairstyle you've seen in Captain America 2, The Winter Soldier. And I'll go ahead and pop that on right now. So there she is with the Winter Soldier here, and for some reason, I don't know why, but she looks so sad and lost, like disoriented, like, I don't know, what happened, Black Widow? What happened? I mean, this, I am glad they included two separate heads and hairstyles, that's cool, because you get two separate looks for the price of one, but, from the side, for some reason, she reminds me of Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh! So in terms of the two different heads, that one and the other one being this one right here, I think that overall I do like this one better. I was initially surprised because I thought I would like the long hair better. Personal preference, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I think that if you're going to go for a simplistic pose, a, you know, a kind of more finesse, espionage-esque style pose, go with this hair. This hair is pretty good for that. If you're going with the more action-y, guns a blazing to Django and <laughs> Django on chain pose, I would go with this head here. Like I said, it wasn't my favorite initially, but it grew on me. It's just so much more action-y. I guess it has more waves flowing back that way, as opposed to this one, which is calm and Pegasus-y. So as far as articulation goes, she's pretty standard for a Marvel Legend. Actually, you know what? I would say she's a little bit more superior to your standard, because I'll show you why once we get there. Let's start at the top, shall we? She's got full... Oh, she wants a little twerk there. Um, she's, she does have the capability of going full range of motion, of course, because her head is on a big-ass ball joint. Just pop that right back on. As for her arm, you can see here she's got a joint there. And she's also got a rotation ball-style thing going on here. So she can do... She can go... She can hit up the gym and go, like, do some pec flies if she needs to. Excuse my hangnail in the picture there. But, yeah, you know what I mean with that. Um, as far as her torso, she's got a little diaphragm action going on here. She can wobble if she wants to. She can. She really can't bend down because of that cleavage stuff going on there. She can tilt up about that much. She's got a nice natural curvature of the spine going on. And she can also rotate, of course, 360. I don't want to do that no more because I feel like that's just putting these figures through pain. As far as the thighs and legs go, pretty standard for a Marvel Legend. You got up, down, all around. This thing doesn't really um, hinder movement that much, except when you're turning it this way. She's really stiff when it comes to turning the leg outward like that, but that's fine because she still can do it. So unless you're having a contest to see who can twerk their figure the fastest, you shouldn't have any worries regarding that. So I skipped the hand, obviously. She still has wrist mobility right there and as you can see I just move the camera as you can see her hands just pretty much peg in to her orifice right there in her arm and it's not wanting to do so right now okay there we go um, and same thing with the other hand so I mean she doesn't have that hinge joint that the amazing spider-man damn it the amazing spider-man figures had but she still has pretty good accessibility to somewhat of a range of motion with her hands. Now, if we can get the camera to focus once more, with her knee, she's got double jointed knees, which is always nice. She's pretty flexible in the movies, as far as I know. Um, and here's what I wanted to talk about with the superiority in articulation. Her Lego foot obviously moves up and back, but she's also got a pivot there. So, like, if you wanted to pretend she was going, like, skiing or snowboarding, and she just, she just took a stumble, she's like, holy crap! There you go. End result right there. How sick is that? Alright, so just for a quick comparison, real quick, here she is standing side by side next to Marvel Legends Infinite Series, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Spider-Girl. And considering how, like, I believe she is a teenager, as far as I know, it's Funny how they're the same size, I get that they're both Marvel Legends, so that's why they did that, but this girl here is wearing some big ass heels, so she's either really tall or I don't know what's going on. Anyways, 
As far as sculpts and everything, she's a little bit more fuller, if you know what I mean. A little well-developed. She's got a little square in the shoulders still. She still looks like she's in high school or something. Um, yeah. She's got a more fully developed womanly body going on here. So, yeah. And she's well on her way. Let's not get her down to. And what's with Marvel Legends Infinite Series lately and redheads? So guys, as far as it goes, this is a fantastic figure. I mean, like, if you see this figure in Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, wherever, Amazon, and you don't pick it up, and you don't already have it, and you like Marvel stuff, and you like Marvel Legends, and you like figures, I just gotta ask you why you haven't picked it up yet. You, This is a must-have for your collection. Like, I, I can't even articulate, like... It's not a 10 out of 10, but it's pretty dang close. You know what I mean? And you must own a toy-sized gun for this figure to hold. Otherwise, it's incomplete, you know? It's like it's like ice cream without sprinkles. Pizza without cheese. Donuts without whatever you like on your donut. You can't have it. But yeah, all in all, fantastic figure. Highly recommend it. And I'll see you guys on the next Marvel Legends series review video. Remember to crush that like button if you love Marvel Legends stuff and you want to see more, more, more. Peace out, guys.